Acadia Seashore. We loved being here for about nine or ten days. But it is time to pack up and head north. We've got everything ready to go. I'm going to just show you what it looks like in here whenever we're moving. So up here, we got everything put away. Took everything down in the shower and took the fan down. It's usually up there. Um, and here we've got the slide in and all the cabinets are hooked up together because sometimes they'll fly open when we're moving and stuff will come out and make a mess. So that's that. I don't know if I can get this door open. Let's see how the kids room looks. Ah, just as I suspected. It's a disaster. But London's clothes right there are usually up there. But when we're moving, we take them down or they will dump out everywhere. And I think Michael has got us all hooked up outside and we're ready to roll. Actually, we still have to put these bikes inside because there's no more room back here. I don't know where he put Lakota's bike. Probably in the back of my car. There's four. Yeah. Yeah, so those have to go inside. Okay. Now we're ready. Acadia Seashore. I'll link it below if you're ever in the area. It's a great place to stay. So before we hit the road, we have to dump our tanks. That's one thing about this place is you don't have sewer hookups, but it's totally worth it. What? He won't let me get in the captain's seat and it's my week. I'm telling him it's just your turn, so you got, he's got to move. Um, what do you think about this campground? What do you think? Uh, super nice. I like it. It's um, not a ton of privacy, but it has an awesome view, and you can see Acadia Mountains from here. Cadillac Mountain. Mountain. I don't, I don't know what the other there. Bubble Mountain. Yeah, one of them. North and South Bubble. But um, but I like it. It's nice, quiet. One thing, the only negative thing I would have to say is you can hear traffic on no. highway number one pretty much all the time but especially early in the morning um i guess it's work traffic and yep. travel traffic i don't know that's the only downside i think but i'm just going to spin this around and let you see what we're looking at right now while we're ending the tanks <laughs> yeah this is the view we have it's absolutely beautiful here yeah it is awesome so you can stay here even if you don't have a camper or even if you don't tent camp because they have two tiny houses here is that right yeah. two yeah. two tiny houses you can rent or you can bring your tent the optimal spots to Park camp tent. are the tent yeah. spots because you're right there on the water and you have the mountain view in the distance so that's awesome but still our spot was really good too they have a bunch of um, waterfront sites. So, mm -hmm. and they have some in the center, but their main sites are waterfront because it's like a peninsula. So, anyway. And they do have um, three sites that have sewer. They're behind us. Um. So, they're <laughs> close to.
close to the road because we didn't want that. Yeah, we're at the mowings and we get the fun crafts. You get the fun crafts? Is that fun? Yeah, me, yeah. <laughs> it is fun. It is fun. And um, we get the fun, we get the fun um, fish. Fish? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, and we get the fun of uh, uh, minnows. Minnows. Mm -hmm. And there's London. <laughs> Alright, let me put you down. I gotta put some work. Lakota, hold on, come here. I want to see your sweater. Tell them where you got your sweater. Um, to alpaca store. Yeah, the alpaca, alpaca barn. Store. Is it made out of alpaca fur? Yeah, is it really soft? Mm -hmm. Turn around, let me see the back. All the way. It's so cute. <laughs> okay, you can get in the car if you want to. You don't, okay, you don't have to. And, um, we're at the mountains to climb the mountains. Climb the mountains? Yeah, it is super fun. So, if you choose to stay here, um, if you reserve seven nights, they'll give you the seventh night free. And that's what we originally did. Um, no. Yeah, well that's, if you ask to stay a week, they'll give you the seventh night free. You'll only pay for uh, six nights. That's what we did origi originally, but then we, decided we weren't ready to leave yet. We hadn't seen everything at Acadia we, did, we wanted to see, so we booked two more nights. And then the first, let's see, our eighth day, I guess. Or would that have been our ninth day? One of those days, the day after we were supposed, the day we were supposed to actually leave, we did laundry and grocery shop, so that took all day. And then, so the next day we were planning on going to Acadia to hike and Isaac and Lakota wanted to do the buses and uh, the, the, their buses are free. They'll take you wherever you want to go in Acadia. So that was our plan but we got up and had cereal for breakfast and I let James have milk with his and he is allergic to milk but I said alright we'll let you try it this one time. Not a good idea. He got really weak, got a fever, was down all day long. So we didn't do anything yesterday. We were stuck here. I stayed inside with him and Michael and the other kids went outside, played all that. We did go out for ice cream one more time at the me and Ben's place. But that's all we did. So we're leaving without getting to do everything we wanted to do. But we can come back. James is fine today. He feels 100% better. No fever. No more throwing up. So we're glad he's feeling better. And we're going to move north today to Lubeck, Maine. To the easternmost campground in the U.S. Um, it's called Sunset Point. So hopefully it'll be as nice as or nicer than this one. Uh, from what I understand, we are going to be on the water there too. So we're looking forward to seeing how that is. One more thing we have to do in here is make sure the fridge is on gas and not electric when we're traveling. That way it'll keep running and stay cold while we travel. And I've also got to make sure the hot water heater is off. It's a little bit hard getting around in here with the bike. pump off the water heater is off, so we're good
hour. It's about 30 minutes from where we're going. Uh, we had a load of laundry, so we stopped here to do a load of laundry, and this bad, what's it called? Bad, bad falls, bad little falls. Bad little falls is like right across the road, basically, from the laundromat. So that's a cool little thing that we're getting to see while we do laundry, or yeah. wait on laundry. The water looks pretty gross. I don't know where it's coming from. I think it's salt water. I'm not 100% sure, but it smells kind of like salt water. And it looks yucky. <laughs> yeah, it does. Look at the bridge. It smells like salt Yeah. 